Hello everyone, I'm Aguiar2000 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. There was a blue... Uh, there was a five rupees. Jeez, oh, these guys are back. This was it, right? It's really hard to tell because on the, the the map that you make as you're exploring, like, you can go east and west from this room, but it doesn't show up on the map. The doorways, you know, only show the, the passages that are obvious, uh, whereas I think it would be better if they showed all the passages that were obvious, plus all the passages you'd actually taken, you know? So if, if you'd passed through a wall, it would show up on the map, but whatever. We're almost done with the game, so let's do this. So we already got the blue, I mean the silver arrow. Let's head north here. Got some fires and some flashing bubbles. Nothing too dangerous, as long as we're careful. Very nice. And then we head over here. We don't blink. And we can get out. This way. Explored the entire eastern half except for the eastern ear. So now it's time to finish exploring the western part, most of which we really already covered uh, when we were on our way to grab the um, red ring. So not too much. We're most of the way through. I'm just grateful that the bubbles here are flashing. Like, that's... So I don't have to go hunting down a blue one after getting touched. I just need to hide out for a little bit. Just like four seconds. Right. Room 
full of keys. Alright, and this, as you can see from the locked door, is one of the rooms we skipped over last time. It's just a couple of red lawn molas and um, uh, corner stone statues. So nothing too bad here. Hey, I could definitely use the, uh, those bombs. And then this horrible room. <gasps> okay. That really would have put a wrench in my plan if I'd gotten nicked by one of those. But we're doing okay. Okay, now, both eyes hold secrets, so this is the other one. We skipped it the first time around, but this time we'll go in and we see a bunch of zoles, so nothing particularly dangerous here. Now we're back to full rupees, and there's the compass, showing us that Princess Zelda is in the far northeastern corner in the tip of the ear. And the ears are the only rooms we have left to explore now. This room still sucks, but now that I have the red ring, it sucks only half as much, which is still a lot. <laughs> wasted that, um, life potion, but I think I have enough to finish this. So this is a room we skipped before. Fortunately, it's not a particularly dangerous one. And it helps us max out our bombs. Oh! And, uh, I get a useless five rupees. <laughs> Um, but now we are, we are done sidetracking for exploration purposes. From this point on, we are going straight to Ganon. This takes us back here, except now we're on the eastern side. That's it. The next room is Ganon. I've got three and a half hearts. <sighs> yeah. This is a huge risk I'm taking, but I want to finish this, and this will make it extra epic if I manage to pull this off. One hit. Two. 
two, three. I think I got him. Gotcha! With two hearts remaining, I have the Triforce of Power. And there's Princess Zelda. And we have, we have mapped out the entire dungeon. We got the map and compass, the red ring, and the silver arrow. Seizure warning. Uh, I'll let you know when it's over. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Ah! And the seizure stuff is over. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Oh, man. So that was a challenge. <laughs> mm. But yeah. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> so that's the original... Legend of Zelda. You are great. Agiar 207. I died seven times. You have an amazing wisdom and power. End of The Legend of Zelda 1. Copyright 1986 Nintendo. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to give me suggestions on what you'd like to see me play next. Da 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 do 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 do